Hi Aquarius, welcome to your Valentine's Day reading. Happy Valentine's Day. My name is Michelle, this is for Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus signs. Let's take a look Aquarius. There's a feeling of rising energy around you. Passion, enthusiasm, excitement. Now, we can often get caught up in that passion, we can get caught up in that enthusiasm. But Frog Princess is letting me know that uh, for you, it's not the time to do what your heart, mind or any other part of yourself tells you to do. Rather, it's time to listen to what an established authority has to tell you. So no matter how many people try to persuade you that you know best, and no matter how much you believe that, the frog appearing here tells you that there is wise counsel around and it's worth staying quiet, listening to what is suggested by others, then talking it through with a trusted advisor. So it's not the time to think it over yourself because you may be missing very important points. There's something that you're not seeing clearly. The more you listen, the more productive, healthy and true your actions will be. So throwing out the window what you think you know, there's more to learn. Listen to wise counsel. No matter how much you're trusting your, your gut here. Aquarius, it seems to be about an issue around family. So let's see. I'm not sure where this is going to go, but we'll, we'll go with the message that Spirit's giving you, Aquarius. These are for my singles, so it could be, uh, uh, perhaps it, it could be either a situation in which you've recently come out of a family situation, perhaps you've left home, perhaps you've left uh, uh, family behind, or there's a feeling here of somebody new coming into your life, perhaps with bringing family with them, they might have children, that kind of thing. I've got you here as the Six of Swords, so yes, there is a time of transition, movement, uh, change, Aquarius. There's a feeling here of leaving uh, sadness behind, um, a feeling here of uh, moving into the future. Uh, I, I get a, for you, very strong emotional energy around this reading Aquarius actually. So that when it comes to ties to family, you're feeling very, very emotional, but, but I get that the there's some kind of detachment here so let's see and that's what's making you emotional perhaps you're away from family maybe for the first time let's see Aquarius let's take a look yeah the five of cups there is sadness here sadness around being away from family the queen of pentacles yeah I do feel that there is a very strong connection here perhaps with a, a spouse or maybe even someone who is a, a, a big sister, a mother, some kind of energy around that, a very high, uh, high vibrational energy I'm feeling around the Queen of Pentacles, nurturing energy as well. We have the King of Swords. King of Swords and the Queen of Pentacles. There's someone you're missing, Aquarius. I've got you here, there's someone that you're, you're deeply missing, there's sadness here about uh, someone who you consider family. I've got the King of Cups, I feel that's elements of you, whether you're male or female, it doesn't make any difference, I, I get the energy here of uh, your emotional attachment to this person is very strong. There is a sense here of a, a very strong soul tie, a very strong uh, bond with someone around you. And the Ten of Wands, yes, uh, this is continuing on the path, keeping going. Yeah, so it seems like there may be an issue here around family. Perhaps someone is uh, wanting to break up or wanting divorce. Aquarius, I've got you, you definitely don't want that. You, you want to continue working on this. Uh, you want to work through this. And I get a need for you to not completely trust what, what uh, is being, what you're telling yourself. I get that for you, the important thing is to listen to what uh, people who may be wiser than you are saying then judge 
and then judge. That's what I'm getting. You know, it, it's not always easy to trust other people and their advice. I get it. Often other people have an agenda, things that we don't know about, that, and something that they are saying to us may actually benefit more them than it does us. So there's a need to be uh, mindful of that. But the card is definitely saying you, you shouldn't just go on what you feel. You really do need to talk this through. Perhaps with a neutral third party would be better than friends or family. You may have to actually seek out a therapist, or especially if it's about a breakup of a family. Perhaps you're on your own away from this family for the first time and it's upsetting. You know, I see you here with the Five of Cups as certainly not to... Uh, not willing to uh, not willing to uh, go for new love yet I, I get that for you there's a great deal of despair uh, sadness around missing this uh, this family situation this queen of pentacles I feel is the person that you're missing could be king or queen earth sign energy someone very stable very grounded someone who you believe uh, to be your uh, I get more of a partner energy I could even be the mother of your children and I've got you here, all potential mother of your children as well. King of Swords, King of Cups energy. For you Aquarius, it's a very strong divine masculine of uh, making sure you don't uh, do anything rash. I, I get that there may be a situation here where uh, perhaps you got caught up in, in something else that, that uh, occupied your mind for a time. Let's see, I'm going to actually clarify that card. Let's clarify that uh, Kundalini energy there. What do we have? Justice. Okay. Well, I actually feel that that's pretty good energy. Uh, what I'm getting around that is a rising power of doing the right thing. That's great. Aquarius. So it seems like if there was any kind of temptation, I don't see you being tempted by it. I see you instead having more of a, uh, a rising sense of acting with integrity, being true to who you are, um, being more king of swords in the upright energy rather than in the reverse. So making good choices, taking into account everyone's needs, not just your own so there's no real selfish energy that i'm picking up around this justice card so that's good let's see what is this family situation here for aquarius the seven of pentacles yeah i feel like there's something being called called into question about whether or not you uh, you want to stay where you are or whether you want to start a family or whether you want to bring on someone that already has a family. So you're being faced with a decision here, Aquarius, whether or not to uh, continue working on this or, or whether to, uh, to end it and go in a different direction. So that's, that's, the, that's the thing. And, and you're needing to speak to wise counsel about this. You want to do the right thing. That's clear. You want to be seen to be doing the right thing. Let's take a look at this Queen of Pentacles. And the Nine of Wands, yeah. It's been a struggle with this person in the past. Uh, perhaps you've had trouble uh, in the relationship. You might have even had trouble uh, starting or raising a family with this person. But uh, I, I feel that there's an energy here of, of still wanting to work on this, still wanting to, to give it a try. What is this King of Swords energy? The Five of Wands, yeah. A lot of uh, internal conflict. I, I get a lot of battles with this person as well. So you don't seem to be on the same page. Uh, you seem to be both... Um, I, I get a lot of uh, petty squabbles between the two of you. So you might be just on, on a break at the moment. You might have been... You might have had some kind of uh, separation after an argument on Valentine's Day. King of Cups, what is this King of Cups? The Ten of Swords in reverse. Yeah. Yeah, I, I do feel that you're wanting to you're wanting to heal this. There seems to have been a breakup. I get a separation. What is this Ten of Wands? Oh, I'm gonna take take both of these actually. 
Okay, yeah, I've got the Hermit and the Seven of Swords. Mm. Yeah, so I get you, Aquarius, being on your own right now. It seems like you've had a falling out with this person and uh, I get you struggling. I, I get you struggling with being on your own. Uh, you, you, want to, uh, you want to reconcile. Yeah, I get you wanting to reconcile with somebody here, Aquarius. Could be you, or it could be someone coming towards you that's wanting to reconcile. You could be this uh, pentacles energy, the, the more feminine energy that I'm picking up here. And they could be coming into you, Aquarius, wanting to reconcile. After you've had some kind of family blow up or um, an argument about family, an argument about children. Mm, you might be married to this person as well. A lot of very uh, strong energy around this reading, but it's coming up as conflict and battles and uh, somebody becoming quite exhausted. And But uh, I think it's left, it's left someone here um, very unhappy to be alone and, uh, and struggling with being alone. Aquarius, let's get a card from the uh, True Love reading cards. Yeah, that could be you. You could be very sad and alone here on this Valentine's Day missing family or missing this person that you could have started a family with or they had children something like that what's the message for Aquarius please what do you have serendipity all right let's take a look the message with uh, serendipity <clears throat> Trusting that your journey is unfolding naturally and gracefully. Uncertainty. Waiting. It's very frustrating. Most of the time we want what we want and when we want it, we want it now. Yet we often look back on our lives and we're able to appreciate divine timing and serendipity that took place. So timing is a key element of uh, this situation. Whether you're longing for a family, whether you're longing for your beloved, craving a renewal of this connection. It's often difficult or impossible to understand why your needs remain unfulfilled at a certain time. You might even doubt yourself or become disappointed with the universe. So developing your ability to trust in forces greater than you, to nurture and guide you is a very empowering skill. So make sure you are genuinely committed to having, doing or being whatever it is that you've asked for because sometimes the universe will protect you from your own naivety so you can have more time to think things through. So the thing is, this may be calling into question, do you want family? Do you want to start a family? Somebody here seems to say yes, the other person not so much. So there's a, a disconnect with this family situation. For most of you, I get that it's about starting family. Sometimes we don't, uh, if we think we want it, and we don't really, something happens to, to kind of blow it up, uh, to, to make it, uh, to, to push us onto a different path. I think that that's what might be happening here, Aquarius. So ask yourself, is this what you truly want? It's a time where you need to step back here, take some time to think things through. Is this really what I want? And it seems to be that you have to heed some, uh, some wise counsel about this family situation now if it is truly what you want next you have to make sure that you've done all that you can from a, a, an earthly perspective to help make your dreams a reality if you're procrastinating it's not going to happen so there's that as well so if you decide at the end of the day you want this family situation you have to not procrastinate but make the effort make the sacrifice whatever it takes to get it done once all of that, of course, is taken care of, it's time to trust the divine and divine timing and serendipity have taken over and be prepared for, uh, for the results. Yeah. So there's uh, many steps on this path. Divine timing and serendipity give you time to reconsider, refine and adjust. So, of course, life isn't meant to be 
predictable it, it comes with the unexpected and there's a sense here of divine timing your future is not set in stone so learn to go with the flow and allow the journey to unfold here Aquarius so I feel like I'm talking to someone here who has had a blow up with a, a partner about family or starting a family or something about children you may be married to this person somebody feels very uh, I want to say um, protective of themselves and I feel like you're at loggerheads there's a lot of sadness in, in the relationship there's conflict somebody wants things their way the other person wants things their way and uh, there's not a lot of uh, energy here of of actually working towards a, a loving commitment and uh, and, a, and this goal so I think you've come to a crossroads here, roads here Aquarius I do about deciding whether or not to keep going with this some of it could be a fear of being alone um, so that needs to be looked into as well because I do think that uh, there's someone here there's been a breakup and that's why this is coming up as a singles reading I feel that there's been this breakup and now now you're apart from each other and it's come down to the wire here about whether or not you want to get back together with this person start this family or choose to uh, to go a different direction in any event you're being asked to heed wise counsel and that speaks to me of a neutral third party rather than friends or family who might have their own agenda here Aquarius so I'm going to leave it there for you for Valentine's Day won't uh, won't resonate with everyone of course Aquarius there could be a, a cross watcher energy this could be an Aquarian that's doing this to you or Aquarius you might want to check out your other signs uh, these are for Sun Moon rising and Venus signs so check out your other signs if this one doesn't resonate Aquarius I wish you the best if you'd like a personal reading you can email me gypsyinsights at gmail.com don't forget to press that like button below the thumbs up that would be fantastic if you could do that if you're a new person, love to have you. Please consider subscribing and hitting the notification bell. And share me on your social media too. That'd be fantastic. Wishing you the best, Aquarius. Please take care and bye for now.